Hey everybody, Mr. Shadowfax42 here. Just wanted to share with you a story I read this morning, which should give you just some idea of how low the rights of men are held in terms of rape justice. The story is about uh, a female PM, sorry, MP, called Louise Mensch, who um, has made a demand that David Cameron should appoint a female justice minister following recent comments by male politicians about rape. Um, you can read the story, a link below. Uh, I don't want to talk about the bulk of it, to be honest with you. She talks about comments made by George Galloway and Todd Aiken and says various things about those. Um, she says that women are fed up with male politicians diminishing, dismissing and demeaning the horrific crime of rape. Have a read through. You get to the part where it talks about what she's written in the Daily Telegraph. Writing in the Daily Telegraph, Mrs Mensch, who is standing down as MP for Corby, has said, the Justice Department has no women in the most senior roles. It stumbled both on trying to grant anonymity to men accused of rape, a Lib Dem idea, and in Kenneth Clark's own unfortunate comments about rape. Where to start with this? There was an idea to actually grant men anonymity when they were accused of rape, which would extend until the point where they were actually charged with a crime. This was going to be a really a big step for men's rights in the UK. Um, it was fantastic news. It meant that a weapon provided to all of women by the politics that are in place at the top, the weapon of being able to make a false rape accusation at any point to not have to give her identity, but to have the guy basically publicly shown that he's been accused of the, that disgusting crime. So that weapon would have been taken away from women. All of those men who are falsely accused of rape, who have lost their jobs, their houses, their families, their friends, their reputation, their career, all of those men would, in a situation like this, not have to go through any of that. Louise Mensch thinks that that is a stumble. A stumble. She says it's, it, that the government stumbled when it tried to grant anonymity to men accused of rape. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not, I'm not talking here about not prosecuting people when they rape. All we're asking for is that you don't make their names public. I, I don't understand why it's such a big problem for these people. Or maybe I do understand, because the only situation that I can I can think of that explains it is that they have absolutely no regard for men. They don't give a shit. They don't care. They, they couldn't care less if a thousand men were falsely accused of rape, as long as they caught one genuine rapist, one legitimate rapist. It, they don't care. They couldn't give a shit. They don't care about us. Um... And you've got this justice system, which basically doesn't grant anonymity to men, basically throws them to the wolves whilst shielding the people who are making claims against them. So basically just disregarding a person's human rights based on an accusation. Nothing proven. You've got that kind of government in justice system in charge at the top, and she's claiming that, what was it she said again? Diminishing, dismissing and demeaning the horrific crime, crime of rape. You won't even grant the accused, anonymity. You won't even grant them that. Until they're charged. You won't even... <sighs> and that just sums it up to me. Just, just sums up the whole thing. We have to keep trying to raise the profile of this idea and we have to keep demanding that people talk about rape justice. Not in terms of rape culture, and in terms of men can stop rape and every man's a potential rapist but in terms of rape is not a gender crime in the same way that sexual assault is not a gender crime and men's rights matter too in this and it's not acceptable for women to destroy men's lives 
because they think it's quick and easy to make an accusation of rape. Now, if you're not going to take seriously the fact that women do this and do it reasonably regularly, then it's just as bad as not taking seriously the idea of rape. And that's why I think that feminism is a completely sexist philosophy. She is exactly the kind of person I'm talking about when I talk about fascist, bigoted feminists. Because as far as she's concerned, men aren't fit to be scraped off the bottom of her shoe. Anyway, that's my rant for the day. I think catch you all next time.